Hey everyone, Shane Combs, SVCSportsZone.com, another uh, SVC Sports Talk Plus for you. Speaking of SVC Sports Talk, make sure you check out the website. Season 10 of SVC Sports Talk, show 284, was released this evening. Uh, we mentioned almost 100 different athletes, uh, John Bruce and myself throughout that show. So real excited to be back again this year. Uh, also want to say on the on this YouTube channel, make sure you're checking out uh, uh, everything we have to offer. We just put the Paint Valley Adina game out the other night. Thank you, WKKJ, for doing that with us. And uh, this week we'll have the Paint Valley Piketon game. Myself and Kai Pulliam will be calling that game along with the live stream. Uh, throughout our volleyball coverage, that's what I'm coming to you here tonight, talk Paint Valley Lady Bearcats. You know, last week uh, I talked Zane Trace volleyball with you. Uh, we heard from Casey Pierce of Uniota, heard from Jazz, uh, Jazlyn Lamerson from Piketon, and the lovely sisters from Medina. So got it covered. Uh, my wife Bethany and I will be out Westfall uh, Southeastern tomorrow night, and then uh, we'll have uh, Huntington Uniota on Thursday night. So uh, a lot going on. I appreciate all the support and, and, and all the, and the uh, nice feedback I've been receiving with the website. So uh, for tonight, I want to talk Lady Bearcats of Paint Valley. Had a chance to go down to Benton County and watch them. And uh, if you know anything about Benton County, nice team. Uh, they they knocked off Huntington in straight sets last week. Uh, I had a chance to see them against Adina. I beat Adina in the first set. Adina came back and won in four. Uh, so tonight with Paint Valley, uh, wasn't sure exactly what to expect. I thought the they lost in straight sets, 25-7, 19 and 19. I thought the 19-19 was a little bit more what I expected to see. This is an improved Paint Valley team. I thought in the first set they were a little bit uh, shell-shocked. Uh, the, the speed of the game was a little overwhelming to them. Good news for Paint Valley in terms of things that are correctable. I think I had like nine of the first 11 Benton County points were a result of uh, Paint Valley errors. Uh, maybe some nerves, maybe some, some adjustment there. So this is a team that they're the only team in the SVC playing the 5-1 offense uh, with Caitlin Potts, sophomore. Caitlin's a, a, a kid that has some nice hands, has good volleyball IQ. Um, she'll only get better in terms of her instincts of the game and, and, and so forth. Um, th this is a team that just needs to become a little bit more efficient. Uh, Avery McFadden has moved to Libero. So she's a kid not setting this year, doesn't quite touch it as much as she did last year. But you know Avery's going to give great energy, going to anchor that defense in the back and, and really try to solidify the Paint Valley passing game. Uh, Bailey Runfield, who has a lot of varsity uh, experience as a passer, is back there uh, with her. So that, that should be something in serve, receive, and so forth that Paint Valley is able to improve as the year goes on. This is a team that has a lot of athletes, a lot of experience at the net. Olivia Smith uh, is an elite player in this league. Uh, when she's given the opportunity to swing, she is a kid that can take games over at the net or at least certain spurts of matches um, to, to really help carry this offense. And, and as I go down through, I, I, I think the key to this team is for not only for an entire group to become more efficient, but for each kid to recognize where they can impact uh, matches. There's not a better athlete in our league than Abby Stanforth in terms of just pure athleticism, her ability to leap, uh, her ability to defend, nice serve, uh, when I look at Addie Furness, uh, she puts up a nice big block. She's able to defend the net a little bit. I think that's important. Kayla Chapman has a lot of experience at the net. Outstanding serve. When Kayla really trusts it, uh, she can get some really good action. She had a couple uh, aces tonight. If you remember in our stat sheets uh, and our stat leaders from the last couple of years, she's one that's usually up there in aces. And as I go down through, Kendall Dye is an athlete the SVC is going to get real familiar with in a hurry this year throughout multiple sports. Uh, good athlete, offers offers a lot there to net. And then Mandy Bowles comes in and spots some nice minutes. So, I mean, when I look down through the, the list, there's about nine young ladies that come onto the court and will play hard and give Paint Valley something. Now, we know how hard it is to, to build a program in the Side Valley Conference. Uh, they start with a dean in Westfall this week. So, uh, again, trusting the process, continuing to grind. Keep in mind they're a D4 team. Uh, we'll kind of evaluate them as the year goes on. But this Paint Valley team is, is, is certainly better, uh, certainly improved, and I'm kind of anxious to follow them throughout. So, so, again, make sure you're checking out. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. Uh, we have this type of coverage of all of our teams and uh, looking forward to seeing the rest of the league this week in volleyball. And on the website, make sure you're checking it out every night because there's a ton – uh, of stuff going on, and you can always count on our website to keep it 100% SVC, 100% of the time.